here today with a video on my top 10 favorite nude MAC lipsticks. I was going to just do like a top nude lipsticks for like light, uh, fair to light skin, but I started to realize I have a lot of favorite nude lipsticks. So I'm going to do a few different videos, uh, probably do a drugstore, a high end, and then this MAC video. And these are all just lipsticks. So before we jump into my favorite 10 nude MAC lipsticks, I just want to say welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Cassie. If you are not new, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and decide to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, please hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any new videos that come up. And yeah, let's jump into the MAC nude lipstick favorites. So the first favorite is this one from the Caitlyn Jenner and MAC collection. This one is absolutely beautiful with the matte packaging and then the gold shiny top. This is in the shade Rocket and it is a cream sheen formula. It's very comfortable on the lips. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it. This is just a really pretty, um, more on the peachy brown nude, but as you can see on my lips, it doesn't translate super peachy or super brown. I'm more of either a pinky nude or kind of that beigey, mauve -y nude. Those are my favorites. So this one's nice. It's easy to just throw on. Very comfortable on the lips, not drying. And it kind of goes with any look because it's pretty neutral. It's not too pink. It's not too peach. It's just a perfect, really nice nude. So this one again is in Rocket. All right, this next one is an oldie but a goodie. I depotted some of it. That's why it's like sliced off at the top. This is Viva Glam 2. This one is more of a um, more matte formula. It's a satin, so it's a little bit, as you can see there, there's not as much shine. It's still very comfortable, but it's not as like creamy feeling as the cream sheen. This again is just a perfect nude. It's very similar actually to the other one, but you can see it has just a slight bit more um, pink in it, but I find this is very neutral. It goes with like any eye look. It's so pretty. I forgot how much I love this one. And it has that beautiful vanilla scent. I really love this color. The satin formula is very, very comfortable still. It's nice if the matte is too drying for you, but you like more of a matte look. I think you'll like the satin. Uh, this one again is Viva Glam 2, and it's like the perfect nude. Next nude, I never hear anybody talk about. This one is in Spirit. It's also a satin. As you can see there, it has just a little bit more peachy tones to it. Again, super comfortable. If you like to wear more warm tone looks, I think you'd really like this lip color because it is, in my opinion, like a little bit more on the warmer side, but still so beautiful. Um, looks great with the eye look I have today, which is pretty like not overly warm, kind of a neutral, easy look. It's just a nice nude. That's what I'm gonna say about all of them. I love this color and it's a nice nude. This is Whirl. This is a matte formula. As you can see, it's quite a bit darker than the rest. Beautiful, beautiful, deeper nude. I absolutely love this color all year round, but especially for fall and winter. The Whirl lip liner is also phenomenal. And this is a, it's a matte, but this is very, very comfortable. I think they reformulated their mattes a few years ago because I find that the mattes are not nearly as drying as they used to be. So if you like kind of that deeper chestnut, um, deeper brown nude, I think you'd really like this color. Very comfortable. I don't think that it's too dark. If you're a little bit um, scared of darker vampy lips, I think this is a great way to start easing your way into that because it is a deeper nude, but it's not like so dark that it's like overwhelming. And I think that you can really balance it out with um, either a light eye look or a deep eye look and it's not going to be too overpowering. So this one in Whirl is like one of my all time favorite nudes year round, but especially for the fall and winter time. This next one is another oldie but goodie. This is Blankety, definitely more of a paler nude. If you have super, super deep skin, so this next one is Blankety. It's an oldie but a goodie. I hardly have any left. This is an Amplified. It's very pigmented, has a nice slip to it, has a little bit of a sheen. It's more pigmented than the cream sheen, but it's an absolutely like beautiful formula, beautiful color. This one uh, it can be a little bit tricky. So if depending on your skin tone, it could look a little bit too light. If you are fair, I think this is going to be great. If you are light skin, this is, which is what I am right now. I'm not self-tanned or anything. 
I think it works really nice. Uh, the deeper skin tone you go, you might want to do a lip liner just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. I do find that when I have a self tan on, Blankety is almost just like a tad too light for me. But this color is just absolutely beautiful. Again, like a really nice true nude. And I just, I love this color so much, as you can tell, because I don't have any left. All right, another nudish color that I never hear anyone talk about. This is Cream in Your Coffee. It's a cream sheen, so it's a little bit um, more sheer, not quite like a luster formula is. It's right here. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, a little bit more of a deeper nude, has a little bit more of those berry tones into it, like a little bit more of a brownish berry tone. Uh, really, really pretty, definitely more of a warmer nude, but I think this color is so perfect for the fall. It's so comfortable. It has a nice little like sheen to it. You don't really need a lip gloss with it. If you like more of the gloss, like the shiny gloss look to your lips, you'll like the cream sheen formula. I find it makes your lips look nice and juicy, and this color is just so pretty if you like a little bit more of um, kind of that warmer reddish brown undertone. I think you'd really like this one. So again, this one is cream in your coffee. All right, the next is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I actually really love it. I usually pair it with a lip liner just to kind of deepen up the outer corners a little bit and give it a little bit more of a pouty look. This one is Honey Love. It's a matte, again, very, very comfortable. As you can see there, it has a little bit more of the peachy tones to it. So this is going to be for the girls who love more of that peachy nude. I tend to gravitate more towards a mauvey nude or a pinky nude, but there are a few peachy nudes that I really like. This is one of them, very comfortable. Again, deepen it up with a little bit of like the Whirl lip liner around the outer uh, corners of your mouth, and I feel like it gives you that really pretty, pouty, bigger lip look. So if you like the peachy nudes, if you like a nice matte, this one's great, very comfortable on the lips. I just really like this one for peachy nudes, and I didn't wanna do all like mauvey nudes because let's just be honest that's pretty much what I wear but there are some peachy ones that I really like so again this one is honey love All right another really gorgeous nude this is in a matte formula this is the Laura Lee with MAC collaboration that girl is just killing it right now and this color is like one of my favorites it has like those mauvey tones to it it's not too dark it's not too light it's a perfect nude and she has quite a bit darker skin than I do it looks gorgeous on her I have fair skin or light skin I feel like it looks really good on me too so I feel like this is going to be something that works for lots of different skin tones you also can really play up this color and transform it with most lipsticks you can do that as well but I like doing more of a mauvey gray um, that sounds weird like a mauvey gray but like one of those taupey mauvey taupe colors uh, for a lip liner and then putting this right in the center and it just looks so beautiful at the beginning of the video I know I had gloss on but I was using the mattes it from L'Oreal uh, and that's more of a kind of like the color I'm talking about that kind of gray mauve you can see right there so I'll put that on the outer part of my lips and then I feather this from the center and kind of like blend it out and it's such a beautiful lip look and it really does make your lips look bigger very comfortable beautiful beautiful amazing nude so excited for Laura Lee and all of the fun awesome things she's doing lately this color is just awesome absolutely love it this one is a little bit more of that mauvey gray taupey nude that I really like this one is really me so beautiful especially if you like those mauvey taupe colors this one is stunning you can see it has more of that cooler like grayish tone to it I love this color so much I love wearing it on its own I love pairing it with different lip liners just really transforming the shade and it's super comfortable it is a matte but it doesn't feel drying it feels nice it stays put it's just such a cool like mauve nude love it this one is really me Last but not least is another oldie but goodie. This is Hue. It is a glaze. It is far more sheer than any of the other ones I've shown you. You can see there. This one is also really pretty. It's got more of that pink tone to it. It's very nude, nudish, concealery looking. But if you top this in the center of your lip with one of these other colors that I've showed you, you can wear it on its own if you want. I don't feel like it's too nude or too pale for my skin tone. If you have a deeper skin tone, it may be a little bit too pale. But it's just a really pretty soft, pale, pinky nude. 
it's just really, really nice. It's not too pink, it's not too pale, uh, and I feel because it's a glaze, it's a lot more wearable because your natural lip color just kind of shines through it, so it's not like a super opaque, light, pale, pink, nude color that just kind of makes your lips look crazy. It's very wearable because of the formula, and also it's a really pretty like center of your lip color as well. So this one is Hue. All right guys, so that is it for my top 10 nude lipsticks. I would love to know what some of your favorite nude lipsticks are. I tried to keep a lot of my deeper like mauve berry tones that I'm like obsessed with. I tried to keep those out of this and keep it pretty nude. I wanted to incorporate a couple deeper nudes and I tried not to do too many mauves. I tried to switch it up. I think I did an okay job. They don't all look exactly the same like most of my lip favorite videos do. But I would love to know what are some of your favorite, favorite MAC nude lipsticks. Leave them down in the comments below so that all of us can get some great recommendations. Leave them in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!